Greetings everyone and welcome to this video in my lecture series on binary, octal, and hexadecimal numbers. In this video, we will convert non-integer numbers from other bases to decimal. So let's take a look at our first example. We have the octal number 57.14 and if we wanted to think about this very carefully, we'd say, okay, um, to the right, to the left of the point, which we can no longer call a decimal point, by the way. This is now called the octal point, or in general, you can call this the radix point. Radix for any base octal when you're only talking about octal numbers. Um, and you could very carefully think about how the seven is in the ones place, the five is in the eights place, the 1 is in the 1 8 place, and the 4 is in the 1 over 8 squared, or the 64th place. But an easier way to think about this is to do the following bit of work. I'm going to write this number as 5 plus, and just hang on here while I do a little bit of writing, I'm going to write each of the digits out with a lot of space between them. And then I'm going to be writing these all as, um, whoops, I should have had, what am I doing here? Um, I should have had the uh, plus sign out in front here. Um, I'm going to write it as powers of 8. And this is not correct what I'm writing because I don't have the exponents yet. But just hang on and you'll see the power of this method. Now I'm going to look at what is the number to the left of the point, or the octal point in this case, and it's 7. That's the ones place. So it is going to have the uh, 8 raised to the power of 0, because that's in the 1's place. And then the nice thing about this, this method is then the other um, uh, exponents are just, we're incrementing to, incrementing to the left. Uh, in other words, we're adding 1 when we're going, uh, moving to the left from this uh, exponent, and subtracting when we're going to the right. So if you take a look at the 5 times 8, it's going to be to the first power because of course that 5 is at the 8's place. And then we uh, move to the right and we look at the digit 1. The 1 is in the 8's place, so it's 1 times, 10 to, 1 times 8 to the negative 1, and then the 1 um, next to it, the 4, is going to be 4 times 8 to the negative 2. So the nice way to do this is to write what, out what I did, which is the 5, the 7, the 1, and the 8, all of the digits, um, write them as times 8 and leave the power blank, then figure out where the 1's place is, that's 8 to the 0, and then write in the rest of your powers. If you then were to um, um, apply this to your calculator, you could then say, let's just do a little box here so we uh, don't get confused. The 5 times 8 is 40. I mean, you could put this into your calculator all at once, but I think it's worthwhile um, to be careful and just examine what all of this means. The 5 times 8 is 40. The 7 is in the 1's place, so it's just a 7 by itself. Uh, the next one is 1 8 and the third is 4 divided by 8 squared, or 64. And we can omit the step, it's just for understanding. Uh, but if we then go ahead and plug it into the calculator, we get 4, 40 plus 7 plus 0 0.125, that's 1 eighth, and 4 over 64 is 0 0.0625. And honestly, I would skip all these intermediate steps, but go from the um, full expansion expression where we put all the powers of 8 in, and you get 47.1875. Now, if you like, you can write that the base here is base 10, but in our decimal system, that's the default, so there's nothing wrong with leaving it uh, blank. Let's do a different example, um, which is a binary number. We're going to convert 11.011 base 2 also into the decimal system. So that is equal to and I'm just going to write out the digits. It's going to be 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2. Now what I've written isn't correct yet because I haven't put in the powers. I've also made sure to include 
the zero term so that my counting doesn't get wrong. There's nothing wrong with leaving it off, but then if you screw up the powers because you forgot there was a missing term, then that's kind of on you. Now, if I look at my number, it's the second one that's in the ones place. That's to the left of, I guess you'd call it the binary point here. So that's the one that's going to get the exponent of zero. So hopefully you can see it's this second one that has the um, exponent of zero. The one to the left will have an exponent of one and the one to the right will, will start counting uh, down now. We get negative one, negative two, and negative three. If you uh, then throw this into your calculator, um, then you will find that this is equal to 3.375 base 10. Let's do one third example, which is the number a 0.3f 6 base 16. So this is a hexadecimal number and we're going to round the answer to three decimal places. And it's okay to call them decimal places in this example because we're moving into the decimal system. Now we're not currently in the decimal, decimal system, we're in the hexadecimal system. And so we're going to write this as so I'm just going to uh, rewrite it below a 0.3 f6 base 16 is equal to, actually I'm going to move that to the left a bit so I don't run out of space. I may run out of space anyway, but let's not run out of space immediately. I'm going to get, okay, the number a in um, hexadecimal is the number 10. So you're going to have 10, um, I'm going to use blue I think, it's going to be 10 times 16, that's our A, plus, and remember for our first pass, we're not actually writing any powers left, uh, powers yet, so this is not correct until I've done the powers part. 0 times 16, plus 3 times 16, plus uh, F is 15 times 16, plus 6 times 16. Now we uh, try to figure out what's the digit to the left of our radix point, or hexadecimal point in this case, and it's the zero. That's the one that's going to have the zero up in the exponent, and then the exponent to the left will be to the one's power, and then the exponent to the right will be a negative one, negative two, and negative three. Now if you throw that into your calculator, you'll get that it's one uh, uh, quite a, um, uh, a lo long string of decimal places in the decimal system, 160.247558, and it just, you know, keeps on going. But recall that we wanted to round our answer to three decimal places, and so it's going to be approximately 160. You could use an equal sign here. Honestly, a lot of people do. I do like to use the approximate uh, sign for things that we've rounded off. 160.248. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.